Hot Wheelers, what's happening? Joe Motor here. Welcome back to the Motorhood. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing fantastic because I just got a monster box in the mail from Mr. PJ, PBAJ1972, as he goes by on YouTube. Uh, I had sent him a Texas Drive em, uh the Mexico Convention Texas Drive em, and one other Texas Drive em, two cars in a box, and he sent this big old mailbox blaster and uh, sugar of the Nile so PJ you did not have to do that that is huge was not expecting this monster to come back but man there it is and I'm excited to break into it I have uh, cracked the seal to save time and I'm setting it over here to the side because I want to show you know put everything on display that's out here in the front so um, let's get right to it shall we so if you are um, not following PJ on YouTube, it's PBAJ1972. I'll try to put a link uh, to his channel in the description below. But he's a great guy, really nice fellow Texan, and uh, he's uh, really great to trade with, talk to about different stuff, and he's always finding really good stuff at flea markets and his local stores. And he's really great at customs, and I see a couple of them right on the top of this box here. So let's take a look at these. Um, these are two um, custom Volkswagen Beetles that I had sent him uh, with a couple of mainline cars that had yellow lined wheels and I was thinking well it'd be cool to do a wheel swap on them and then he messaged me back and was like hey can I do something different with those and uh, man they look fantastic PJ those are fantastic this is the Zamac version of the custom Volkswagen Beetle kind of a drag beetle look to it and those real riders look fantastic look at that that is really really great that's that's almost better than a super right there I don't think Hot Wheels could do a super version of this car better than the way this looks really really great with the Zamac and he also did the yellow version so now we have them as a pair and that is just super cool better than I even imagined right there very cool thank you PJ for those those look great and we have just cracked the surface here lots of bubble wrap that's good oh wow check out this piece that's a piece I've been looking for that's been on my wish list for a while thank you PJ that's a 100% um, from the 1 in 15,000 limited editions uh, you, you can find lots of these Hot Wheels that are endorsed by Ford or Street Rotter different magazines and they're different versions of race cars and such but that is the Ford Thunderbolt I've been really wanting this car and uh, just have never pulled the trigger on it we're gonna crack it you know me I gotta crack them now we're talking now we're talking much better that's a really really cool car it's got the Goodyear uh, Number one, fat meats on the back, painted tail lights, very nice. Really nice, kind of candy metal flake maroon. The Thunderbolt on the side, really nice car. Thank you, PJ. That's a cool piece that was on my list. Did not have it. Very cool. Oh man, I see the I see Project X. All right, I'll tell you about that in just a minute. Let me get over here to these other cars. Some really cool main lines in here. Oh, nice. 67 custom Mustang Zamac the once elusive 67 Ford Mustang from the Fast and Furious set uh, people were going ape over this car when the first series came out and this was either purposefully a chase car or it wasn't nobody could really say if it was done on purpose or if they um, just messed up the, the distribution but now these are a dime a dozen so it's still a really nice car so I may crack that one too I, to, I can't remember if I have one loose or not so I'll check before I crack that one. Here's a car I didn't have yet. This is the 90 Honda, Honda Civic EF. I think that's from the uh, D case, D case, which has not shown up around here. So that's a nice piece right there. Some more little main lines here. Very nice. Here is a what is that? Escort Rally. I don't think I've ever seen that car before. Really like the rally cars. Look at all that stuff going on in the front there. That's pretty wild. 
I don't see this casting at all anymore. So I wonder if they retired it. 1998 first editions. That's a pretty old right there. Very cool. I bet you found that at Trader's Village or somewhere, huh? And then there's another Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. Very beautiful piece. Can never have too many of those. Looks like it's got a little paint smudge here. So I guess that could be what you'd call a paint error. Interesting. And then here is a Mercedes-Benz Unimog. I don't have any Unimogs in my collection. PJ, I know you were kind of after some of the Unimogs for a while. That's pretty cool. Matchbox does these kind of vehicles right. I mean, their wheels um, just look fantastic. So that's a cool piece. Thanks, PJ. Uh, let's get down here to the bottom, see what else we got. Man, PJ, you've got way too much in here. Way too much. All right, I see. I'm going to save these for... Oh, look at that. Here is a Johnny Lightning Super Chevy. This would be a Corvette, I think. Yeah, 1963 Corvette's Grand Sport. Look at that. Beautiful. White with the blue racing stripe. Ventilation. Painted taillights. Really nice stuff here. Metal base, of course, with treaded tires. Man, I miss Johnny Lightning. Nobody does it quite like they did. And then here is a 71 Ford Maverick Grabber. That's really cool. And I think it has gold wheels. It almost looks like a M2 Chase piece or something. Really nice detail on the front there. Banana yellow. Painted taillights. Very interesting. I've not seen that piece from the classic gold collection. Very nice. Two Johnnies. Man, it just keeps going, PJ. What is this? Here is a 58 Chevrolet Apache fleet side. Beautiful. That one's going to have to come out. I really, really like the, the M2 versions of the Apaches. And I knew uh, Hot Wheels had done some, but I'd never picked any up. So that is definitely going to get cracked. It may take me a while to crack that, so I won't, I won't uh, make you suffer through it right now. That's, that's a nice piece. And there's another one here. <laughs> it's a big old box down here. Here is a 56 Ford pickup. That's a beautiful piece. That is definitely coming out of the package. Man, you know what I like. I'll tell you, these pickups are pretty, pretty awesome don't see anything like this much anymore from Hot Wheels. This packaging, look at that. Um, keep hearing about Mattel not making their profit or whatever and they're cutting corners and I don't know. That's a great looking piece though. Really appreciate it PJ. You did not have to go, you went way above and beyond so you might have to get a some return fire. What is this thing? Reggie's Cars. Hot Wheels Collectibles. Check this out. <laughs> it's a whole diorama. Looks like a garage full of classic cars. And it's a Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson's cars. I wonder if those are really in his garage. Reggie's Cars Collector Set. That is pretty wild, man. I've never seen that. Limited edition for the Adult Collector. Hot Rod Series. Let's take a look at the back. Hot Wheels Collectibles has chosen four of Reggie's hottest rods to replicate. Here's what the Hall of Fame outfielder says about each of his classy cars. So you can pause that and read it if you want to. Got the 32 Ford Roadster, 40 Ford Convertible, 56 Chevy Two Door, 63 Plymouth Max Wedge. Wow, never seen that set before, man. I wonder if you did you find that at Trader's Village too? They bought have some really cool old stuff. Um, and that's really fun to search when you're looking through old stuff just to see what came out 5, 10, 15 years ago and just kind of see what was going on. Really cool, man. Thank you. Okay, now I'm down to the what I think are the, the little jewels. And uh, so let me make some room here because I have a feeling these are going to be good. There's a couple of customs that look to be down in here. Here's a wheel swap. This is cool. I was not expecting this at all. Here is the uh, Toyota Land Cruiser from the Matchbox set. 
the brand new Matchbox release with Real Rider tires, BF Goodrich off-road. Look at that. Fantastic. That looks so good with those Real Riders on it. And uh, clean work. Look at that. You don't even notice. Only the trained eye would notice. So that's going right next to the, here's the original by the way, got it right back here. So you can see the difference. Really nice with the real riders, chrome wheels. Dang. Man, there that one is. What else we got here? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to break into this one. You're killing me PJ. Oh nice, a GTX. Is that what that is, right? Plymouth GTX. You couldn't mistake that front end whatsoever. And that would definitely be a Johnny Lightning from 2000. Very cool. And then we have the Judge. American Graffiti Judge. Wow, that's cool. Didn't notice that till just now. Beautiful Pontiac GTO. Wow. This one's got rubber wheels with tread. I think a plastic base and then this one has a metal base and plastic tires both of them look fab look at that really cool really nice all right we're down to the nitty-gritty here here is um, the project X are you ready this is the one of the rarest real riders you will ever see in person check it out can you believe it I finally got it. It only cost me $5,000. Just kidding. This is my little uh, this is my little replica, my faked uh, real rider here. So if you don't know the story behind this, this is one of the rarest uh, original 80s real riders from the real rider series. This um, red early times AOK -okay is the name of the casting. And if you find this in the package or loose with these Real Rider tires on it, you may have just found one of the most rare. Uh, there's only one that's more rare than this, but uh, this is pretty much the rarest you'll ever have a chance of coming across. So if you do find one of these, turn it over on its base and see if it's got new screws or old screws. PJ's pretty good about covering his tracks, but a trained eye would know that... Uh, that's a wheel swap. So this is a replica. It is a custom replica that PJ put together for me. I really appreciate it because I was pretty sure I would never come across an affordable version of the real deal. So this is going to satisfy my uh, need to have this in my display case. So very cool. Thank you so much PJ for that. I really appreciate it. Now here is the uh, here is the the headliner of the night. <laughs> this piece has got... Oh man, that looks fantastic. Look at all this. <laughs> okay, so as he's uh, been doing all these uh, Chevy Silverado 4x4s. He's got quite a few in his collection. And I keep talking about how it would be cool to do a mud series with these off-road trucks. And uh, he he did me a mud series. You ready? Check this out. Man, that is nasty. Look at that. Look at all these tires in the back. <laughs> Man, you had to sacrifice like five real rider tires just for the back. This one didn't even have rubber on it. Look right here, he's just got the wheel. That is crazy, dude. So it's got all this mud and rust and nastiness on it. Looks like it's been treading through the mud. And then these blacked out tires I sent him because I wanted to do like a, uh, you know, just a mean, mean looking Silverado with blacked out tires. These are from the uh, 1980 Dodge Macho Power Wagon from the Simon Simon Retro. And uh, PJ, that's fantastic. It was a little different than I thought it would look, and it, and it just looks nasty. It's like it's been through the mud, and then here's the MTV logo. Check this out. I have no idea why I thought that would be cool to put the old MTV logo on a big old mud truck, but just something that sounded good to me. And uh, PJ went to town with it. That looks fantastic. 
it fits right in alright so what I'm gonna do is uh, change up the camera here and give you just one last close-up of these pieces up close and personal that's so cool that's just a mean nasty looking mud truck right there PJ thank you so much for the package you did not have to go way above and beyond uh, our little trade and I really appreciate it really great stuff in this package I'm gonna change the camera around and show you some of the loose pieces up close we'll be right back